Hey guys, um, this tutorial is gonna be about how to make these uh, beautiful flowers right from the scratch. Let's start by creating a new document. As usual, it will be uh, any, any size you prefer. Let's create a new group. Um, we would want uh, a very dark gray background color and we would just have um, little patches of very dark colors you know a nice neat setting for the background um, i have chosen the color 191919 uh, for the background and create a new layer uh, from your windows keyboard you can press ctrl shift n to create a new layer uh, then you would select the uh, brush tool and select a nice neat um round you know very soft round brush probably the size of 300 or I don't know, any anything big after that um the color choices again up to you you can you know uh, use any colors you want i would stick with very dark maroon and dark blue and little um, dark brown um, colors for this tutorial i would just um, you know, don't worry if they come out too dark. We will just reduce the opacity in some time. Um, just make a little, just make you know, big circles wherever you feel like, but don't get them too near. Again, I'm reducing the opacity of those spots. I'm just gonna go and make the colors a little more subtle. Uh, not too showy. Okay, uh, I'll just quickly show you how it looks. Um, this is how my screen looks right now. I mean, there are colors in the background, but they are not really showing up. Um, you know, let's keep it as it is. If you don't, if you, if you don't really like the effect, we would we would come back and change it. Okay, and now let's create start creating the flowers we would create a new group uh, create a new layer select your brush tool again for selecting the brush tool it is just press the alphabet b um, we would have a brush of uh, size six pixel uh, this is a not a soft brush this is a you know a thick round brush so it's um, six pixel we would change the color palette to default um, again this is achieved by pressing d from your keyboard and if you want to I'll just show you. Um, you know, this is the color palette. If you want default colors, black and white, just press D. And if you want to swap the colors, press X. You know, you can just swap the colors. Okay, I'm going to use white color and um, just going to zoom it so that you can see the actual size. And I'm going to draw a line um, like this. You know, it's just drawing a straight line with a white brush of six pixel uh, brush for six pixel white. Um, then I'm going to go and select filter, stylize, and wind. Again, what I would do is I would, I would select wind. And I would say direction is from the left. And I would click OK. Now, if you see, um, there is a wind effect to this. I would go ahead and repeat the same effect probably three to four times. Third time, and this is my fourth time. Um, this again depends on how big you want your pedal to be. It's always a good habit to start, uh, you know, making the pet, making the flower big so that you can, um, you know, reduce the size afterwards. So this is what I have. Um, next thing I would go to edit select transform and I would select wrap and now I would carefully um, bend this shape uh, to make it look like a pedal so what I would do is I would um, get this here and get this here just to give that ending of the pedal then I would elongate this a little bit so to get the u effect on my pedal you know always use your bezier curves uh, they are there that's an awesome tool just expanding this a little bit more to get that uh, deep effect on my pedal i think it looks good just press enter and your pedal is almost done
this is what we have um, now what we would do is we would duplicate this layer maybe uh, six five to six times to form a flower um, shortcut again for duplicating a layer just press uh, select the layer that you want to duplicate um, and press ctrl j from your windows keyboard and that duplicates a layer uh, now i would go uh, and move this i would press ctrl t t to transform it if you um, you know you can always go to edit menu and say transform i'm just going to adjust this for a while uh, duplicate layers keep adjusting you know, make it a flower again i'm just um, duplicating the layers and rotating them so that um, a neat flower is formed If you don't like any of the placements of the petals you can always go back and change it but i think uh, i'm pretty happy with what i have here uh, what i would do is i would merge all these layers uh, as you can see i have like what um seven eight nine uh, i think i have nine whatever i'm going to merge all of these into one single layer um, again the shortcut for merging is Control e from your windows keyboard it keeps merging the layers now I have just one layer and what I'm going to do is um, zoom out a bit so that you can see um, the actual size. Um, I'm going to apply, um, this looks more like a 2D so I'm going to make it a little transformed so that it gives a 3D effect. So I'm just going to say edit, transform and then this time I'm going to choose the option for call perspective. Uh, this is again uh, also one of my favorite options but uh, I am not really sure if I use this right, so I think this should be it. Yeah, I think this is how my flower was. This is how it was before and this is how it looks now. Um, now what I'm going to do is... Um, Okay, this is really very, very big. I'm probably just going to reduce the size of it. Yeah, I think this would do. Uh, now what I'm going to do is um, duplicate this layer again. We would want a very tiny flower in the middle. Have your pen tool. Uh, make sure your color, is, um, color palette is white and your brush size is... Um, probably three pixel we don't want it to thick so go back to your pen tool and just draw little curvy lines coming out of your flower uh, after you have drawn a line say right click right click on it and say stroke path uh, select the brush option do not select the simulate pressure we want a neat uh, line so we would just I say okay after that we would just go ahead delete this part and um, this is what I have paint it just tap your brush uh, twice or thrice on the corners so that we would get that pollen you know that rounded top on it okay um, so this is how my uh, flower looks now let's go and give some styles to it what I would be doing is I would be giving it an outer glow of, um, yeah, now the color that you choose for your outer glow basically determines the color that your flower would be in. Pink is what I would be choosing. Alrighty, uh, I have uh, kept the default settings as of now, but I would also uh, would want to change the size of it uh, to probably 10 so that uh, we have a neat outer glow also you know which comes outside of the petal too Alrighty, this is how my uh, flower looks now i'm just going to copy the layer style oops i said copy i'm going to copy the layer style and paste same layer style on the other two layers that we created so 
this is how my flower looks right now. All right, um, so I'm just gonna, you know, duplicate the same group. I'm gonna call it flower. Duplicate the group. Create a couple of more, couple more flowers. I think this would be nice. Okay, um, I think our flowers look good. Now let's go ahead and draw stalks. Uh, we could, you know, draw stalks. Uh, why am I saying stalks? We could go draw stems for all of these on one layer, you know, if you if you will. I'm just going to select my brush tool, make the thickness um, of it to maybe four pixel. Again, there's color green on my palette. I'm just going to send my uh, select my pen tool and start drawing these. Again, you don't want them to bend. After you're done stroking the path, just say um, stroke, brush stroke and delete the path and we would draw the another one. Okay, and I think I'm done with all the stalks and they look really, really um, over the flowers. I'm just going to make them behind the flowers and again, take an eraser tool and erase off the parts that are shown, um, you know, really bright on the flower. We don't want our stalks to show up in the flower. So. Okay, I think we are, we are good here. Okay, cool. Let's just see how our um, flowers look so far. Yeah, this is how they look so far. I'm just going to center them properly. Yeah, I think this will do. Uh, what we would do then uh, we would do next is uh, we would add lots of glitter and sparkles in the background. For that, I would select my brush tool again. I would um, select this uh, sparkle brush that uh, that has come default you know it's it's default with photoshop so i'm just going to say this is called a starburst small i'm going to reduce the diameter probably you know really tiny and select my color palette change my color palette to default and select the white color on my color palette now i'm going to do something really fun uh, select this um, brushes and then um, select shape dynamics you know again you would want to play play with these numbers you know just give it a setting of whatever you feel like um, scattering yes we want it to scatter So once you're done, um, you can probably select the pen tool and draw a shape, draw basically draw a path on which you want your glitter to appear. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another path, uh, create a new layer, delete off this path and we'll draw another path and this time we'll give the glitter with pink, a pink color and you want to emphasize the color that your flowers are in. So select um, colors, whatever you have chosen for your flower. I'm just gonna select pink draw a small path this time I don't want it too big so now we'll see how the actual flowers look this is how it looks we don't want the glitters to appear on the flower but behind the flowers so um, go ahead and just just drag the drag the layers under the flower if you if, if your flowers are like um, showing up the glitter behind them you can just take an eraser with uh, and just erase of these parts so this is how it looks um, probably again you know if you want you can add your personal note or um, you know any additions that you want but for this tutorial I'm just gonna stop it here and yeah, 
I hope you had fun and thanks for watching.